And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. In the corner, it's Kleba. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And in the past, Murray's coaches have said he wants to be big man. He's a tough kid who's overcome a ton. Takes nothing for granted, wants to earn his keep. He understands what a privilege it is to play in this league. Denver foul, number 21. That's his first personal, second team foul. In the corner, it's Kleba. That's to Persingas. Shoots over Nurkic. That's the kind of D you want from your big fella Nurkic there. Make sure he is contesting the shot. From deep. Second shot opportunity. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Nuggets ball. Cunningham with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. Pass to Nurkic. Shot clock at five. Tries again. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Portland ball. On the floor for your Trailblazers. JaVale McGee. Trailblazers trail by four. Column Sexton. Outside curve. Takes it inside. Good on the shot. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Second personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Now, here's Cunningham. 11 points in the game. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Cunningham's got 13. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Yeah, something we've seen the last few years. Boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. Oh! oh. Wow. Nurkic getting more and more comfortable at finding the open men on this team. Sexton attacking. Pass to Boucher. Outside Curry. No one near him. Got that bucket. He's got 11. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Sexton's shot is good. The closer Sexton gets to the basket, the more dangerous he can become. And the defense has got to recognize that. Driving to the basket. And Boucher sends it back. Stewart misses. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. With the step back. Sexton for three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Mike Malone gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. Coach said they have to concentrate on Steph Curry's outside game, but there's more to it than that. He said, we know what kind of shooter he is, but we can't get caught up guarding him 35 feet out. We'll live with some of those threes before we let him beat us with penetration. So, Kevin, if Curry wants to show off his deep long-range game, he may have a chance. Back to you. Thank you, David. And David there's the drive. Cunningham. That one goes. Count it. Cunningham's got 19 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Got a piece of it. Pass to Norkic. There's 38 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Well, now gets need to get a shot off here. Stewart misses. 
Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. And the dunk by Boucher. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open in that court awareness. He was able to get it to him. And Cunningham with the slam. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. A three pointer. Sexton's oh, shot Sexton. is good. So far, both teams scorching the nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on. Defensively. And so it's Kate Cunningham making things happen Your for the Denver Nuggets. Hurts. And it was from three point. Range read. All right, look who's coming out on the court. Come on. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Porzingis with the block. That's a forgotten skill as Porzingis able to get up there and throw that one away. He's finished top 10 in blocks a couple of times. Hey guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Crowder the screen. It's good. And the Nuggets lead by five. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Playing third and third. Blazers trail by five. Pass to Hero. Going inside. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And for Tyler, that one was nasty. Deep two from Murray. Boucher with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And finish off by Faulkner. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. And so it's Perzingis. He'll bring it up for Portland. They trail by one. Out to the right wing. Portland moving the ball. Over. Pass to Wagner. Five to shoot. Over Williams. And it's Wagner missing. Murray scanning the floor. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. And Greg, some star big men have complained that they get hand all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I didn't have to agree. <laughs> and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three free throws. So something the league might want to take a look at trying to balance things out. And Boucher sends it back. Now, here's Wagner. And Adams sends it back. Not about it. And Steven Adams Denver just ball. throwing that one out of the way. On the floor for your trailblazer, Maxi Kleba. And for those of you just the joining us, we're almost two and a half three. minutes into the second quarter. To the middle, Rozingas with the steal. Pass to Kleba. 
There's Hero with the three. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Now Murray. Williams outside. The Nuggets with another miss. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Nuggets trail by five. Here's Murray. Up and in on the way. Murray's got six. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Hero on the wing. Back to Sexton. Over in the corner. Hero. Driving in. And that one is hammered home. In the flash, Tyler Hero makes his way to the inside. Nice use of his athleticism. That's the free fly. The offensive rebound. Here's Murray. Misses from close range. Here's the Trailblazers with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. And there's the foul. It's on Stephen Adams. That's his first foul. Big group substitution here for Denver. A clear look for Curry. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Blazers ball. Down the lineup for your Trailblazers. JaVale Murphy. Trailblazers leading by seven. Hero with it. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Pass to Stewart. To the left side wing. Inside. A shot missing. And the Trailblazers going the other way. Steps back. Hero. And Portland again with the bucket. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. He takes it in. Rebounded by McGee. And here's Portland. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Pass to Hero. Two minutes remaining. In the Fires first from deep. Two minutes. Here's Benbury. And stolen by Murray. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Here's Stewart. He's covered by Hero. Now Cunningham. And he's good on the Dave three ball. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 26. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And the basket by Kirk. Curry. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Picked his pocket. And a wide open look for Cunningham. Buries the long range jumper. Three. Cunningham's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Nuggets. Just to Bembry. Outside Curry. Now here is McGee. Back to Curry. Just five to shoot. Shoots in deep. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Nurkic. Cunningham inside. Plays it up off the glass. Cunningham. Now just a five-point trailblazer lead. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Back to Curry. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. 
A three. And again, Denver with the triple. Here's Bembry. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Trailblazers lead by two. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Cunningham. For the lead. Drops in the tray. Cunningham. Cunningham's got the first bucket of the third here for the Nuggets. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. There's Hero with the three. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. And Hero early on in his career finds himself in these big time moments. Stolen. Kleber with it. Now defended by Cunningham. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Denver. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Back to Curry. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. Curry gets going like this. It's dangerous. And this could be a big night on that scoreboard for him. And you know what? Saved what was likely to be a dunk. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And Portland making a change here. And so Murray nails both of them. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. It's a one-point game. Down low is Persingas. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Defensive foul. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Well, gravity is very, very real, and Steph Curry has the most of any NBA player right now. Here's Cunningham. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 39. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Here's Curry. And Wagner has it in the corner. Driving inside. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Brent, when you talk about the gravity of Curry, explain what you mean. Well, Kevin, any time that he's on the floor, when he crosses half court, all five defenders are paying attention to where Steph is. The more he moves, the more he shifts around the incredible attention of all five defenders. And when guys make one misstep, or you have two defenders make one misstep to carry their way to where Steph Curry is, it opens up easier opportunities on any possession. That's what we're talking about when we speak on Steph's gravity. Outside Curry. Pass to Persingas. Nurkic with the steal. Takes the three. Right around three minutes into the second half. Puts it up from 15. Just five on the clock. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Portland trailing here. Column Sexton. Driving the lane. Rejected by Murray. And he gets it back. Sexton. Sexton's shot is good. Don't want to see athleticism wasted just on offense as Sexton uses it that time to get an offensive board. Cunningham inside. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But through contact, he'll head to the line. 
The Nuggets getting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they shot the ball well this season in terms of their attempts. 81 percent. Taking two shots. That's good from Cunningham. And so Cunningham nails both of them. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Hero. Hero. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And Hero getting to the spots where he can be very effective. That swagger he plays with is infectious. Screen by Adams. Pass to Osman. That shot is off. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul. That's his first personal third team foul. the wing. 19 points in the game. Pass to Kleba. Lock at six. And the Trailblazers another three. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Goes through moves. Shot is off. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Sexton. Makes it off the glass. And now a five-point Trailblazer lead. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Two minutes remaining. In the and third. here is Dosumu. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have to jump ball. ball. Colin Sexton. Second team foul. Poke loose, and it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Mr. to Persingis. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Back to Kleba. Got a hand on it. Hard-nosed defender and Josh Richardson using a little bit of that length from the wing position to deny that one. In the corner, Crowder with it. So the wing on the left. Pass to Osman. Five on the clock. Adams trying to free Jimmy himself Osman. up. And that assist one's good. Osman. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the Bucks. And craziest fan. Get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. And we're making a change here. JaVale McGee, DeAndre Bembry, Amir Coffey. And so, Sexton will bring it up for the Trailblazers. Three-point lead. Pass to Coffey. Here's Crowder. Nice move. Yes, and the foul. Colin Sexton is on Colin that Sexton. First personal. And muscling through that time, Crowder with a physical play and an end one chance. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Blazers. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. The other impressive part about their offense tonight has been their ability to get inside off the bounce. Lots of points. Into the lane. And it's Dosumu with the jam. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Sexton on the wing. Can they get it? And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adam. On the floor for your trail, please. 23 seconds left for the third. Now, Hero. Six on the shot clock. And a 
nice sixth sense back there from Hero using that pick and roll. Here's Dosunmu. Good on the three-point shot. Dosunmu's got five points now this quarter. Here's Curry with the three. Misses the three. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Nuggets ahead. They lead by three. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Come on, fans. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Trailblazers trailed by three. Pass to Wagner. Back to Curry. And it's blocked. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Denver. Three points. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Denver. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. Cunningham inside. Foul in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Second personal. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. It's three outside. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Cunningham inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first really, uh, the right play Second defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Looking to end the run. He's off on that one. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Nobody near no fish. Trills the bait. Slime jump. Norkic has got the lead up to 13 now for the Nuggets. Portland with the timeout. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the Portland head coach talking to his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this game, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. See if that pep talk got him over. Thank you, David. And it's good for two. Cunningham's got 50 points. He is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Screen by Nurkic. Fires from the wing. Denver the rebound. Pass to Stewart. Here's Cunningham. And again, Denver with the triple. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. It's Curry with the drive. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. his fourth personal foul. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. The aggressiveness on the drive there from Steph. He earns the foul thanks to how he sucks the defense in. Out of position. And now to the free throw line. Screen by Nurkic. From outside the arc. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. And he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, he, there was 
was definitely some contact there Shooting on the three-point three attempt. And he sinks the second. Taking three shots. And he nails the third. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Outside Curry. To the paint. It's tipped. Fires the three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Here's Cunningham. A three-pointer is Danny right on target. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 56 points in the game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Back to Curry. Nurkic with the block. Nurkic seeing an opportunity there to make the impact defensively with the block. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And he finishes nicely Houston, on the way. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Here's Curry with the three. Dives to the hoop. And Cleveland slams it in. Good presence there. Already in his shooting motion, he spotted the open man and made the unselfish play. And you know what? This guy is just a natural born scorer. Pass to Hero. Back to Curry. To the inside. And the dunk by Porzingis. And for Porzingis, gosh, the dunk looks so easy. And the foul called on Cade Cunningham. Cade Cunningham. That is his first foul of the That's game. his first personal foul. Oh, great defense there. Foul. Anticipated the play and got on there the first. Four for your trailblazer. Amir Coffey, Colin Sexton. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for Portland. Here's Curry. Right side, Berzingis. Down to five on the shot clock. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. That's good from Stephen Curry. At the line for Portland. For all of Stephen Curry's attributes, shooting, screen setting, playing with joy, there's not a lot of mention about his toughness. Remember in the early part of his career, those severe ankle injuries, and teams really tried to punish him. They tried to go at him on both ends of the floor. You don't hear much about that anymore, do you? Two minutes. Two on the wing. Two minutes. Cunningham inside. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. One forty-six left in the fourth quarter. Stephen Curry's shot is good. And I like it when Stephen Curry gets to the inside and goes up strong. Just wants to convert from there, and he gets the chance. There's the drive. Porzingis with the block. Curry deciding where to go with it. And the foul called on Kate Cunningham. Dave. That'll be his second foul of the game. His second personal. We've heard the calls for more diversity among foul. head coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. And hey Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one, one reason why our game is so popular globally, because it is so inclusive. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Nuggets. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at C. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Cade Cunningham. 
so many times on the defensive end showed off those quick mitts jumped all over the opposition and swiped the ball away a number of times. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the final quarter. It's hauled in by Hero. Outside Curry. And stolen by Murray. Here's Cunningham. And then Damn. Cunningham with the dunk. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Cunningham. Jay Cunningham. And Cunningham with the slam. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Thanks for coming out. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Sure to get home this safely. one was over well before the final.